What's going on guys? I'm uh, making this video on a quadcopter I'm building. So got a whole bunch of parts recently from Hobby King. Uh, took a little while or had to order a few things from the uh, international warehouse in China. But um, got everything in. So I'm going to be building um, the copy of the DJI F450. So I already assembled part of the frame here. Here's the rest of the arms. This is the bottom plate. As you can see here, I soldered on the uh, the wires for the ESCs. So I'll go through all the parts one by one, and also put a a list of the parts and the links in the description for each one. So um, as you can see here, I soldered these on, and I covered it with a little bit of liquid silicone to add a little protection on there. But uh, here's the box. And let's go through that and see what I got. So I'm just going to take everything out in random order. These are um, Turnigy propellers. These are glow in the dark. These are, I believe, 9 by 4.7. So I got two sets of these. I probably should have ordered like a third or fourth set uh, in case I break these. And for the motors, this is what the package looks like. These are NTM. Uh, 2826, these are the short shaft version. So it looks like this. And as you can see here, I have the NTM prop adapters on top of here. They just screw right into the top of the motor. And this is what the bottom of it looks like. This is how I mounted it. I haven't really seen too many other people mount it like this um, but this is uh, this is the base plate that comes with the the, uh, the prop adapter kit which you have also have to buy separately for these and uh, the screws that come with this are a little bit too short so I went ahead and picked up some extra screws uh, these are these are 10 millimeter screws Pick these up from a local store, Hobby People. These are a 3x10. This is just a round head screw, and these work pretty good the way I have it set up here. So, there's that. So, you have the screws I got locally, 10 millimeter. Uh, these are um, a couple of male and female bullet connectors that I had to get for the ESCs and um, as you can see on this motor here they come with the male bullet connectors these are the three and a half millimeters and right here are the female ends that I soldered on to the ESCs and I covered it with a little bit of uh, black shrink tubing for some protection there because you don't want these touching each other and shorting out. All right. This is what the prop adapters look like. You can get them in the bag. I got a pack of these uh, 10 centimeter servo cables connecting the uh, the KK board. This is the I got the KK 2.1 board, which I'll show you in a second. These are the screws that I was talking about that come uh, with the the prop adapter kit. These are like five millimeter or something like that. They're way too short. They're long enough for you to screw the base plate directly into the motor and that's it. But they're not long enough to go through this arm. That's why I got the 10 millimeter ones. All right. Got some Velcro. This is, I've got a Zippy Compact 3700 battery, so I still need to solder the uh, XT60 connectors onto here. I'll, I'll just cut these off, put the XT60 on there. And this battery, 
This, is the, this goes to the Eternity 9XR transmitter, and I'll show you that next. You can put other batteries in that transmitter, uh, but this one was designed for that transmitter because it has uh, uh, under discharge protection, as you can see right here. So, all right. And lastly, or not lastly, I still got a few more things. It's the last thing in this box, at least. Here's the 9XR. Alright. I'll just leave it in the package for now, but, uh, you know, if you want to get more of an idea of how this thing works or anything, I'm sure you can find other people with YouTube videos on that. So, let's go grab the other box real quick and show you what's in there. Also picked up some bearing oil for the motors. Okay. This is the stuff that I got from Hobby King International Warehouse. This took about two weeks to get here. I'm in San Diego, California, so so about two weeks. Um, just some wire to start off with, and here this is the uh, it's a KK 2.1 board. Comes with a little speaker for low battery alerts and there's the board okay it does not come with the LED that may go along with this speaker so you have to buy that separately or you can just make your own uh, but that plugs right into the board all right Very last thing I have here. Went ahead and got the FR Sky transmitter module and the D8R2 Plus receiver, both with telemetry. Okay, so you really can't go wrong with FR Sky. Uh, the range on these things are just ridiculous. Um, you know, if you're going to do some long-range FPV this is definitely the way to go um, and both of these the, the module and the receiver uh, for you those of you who don't know this plugs into the back of the transmitter itself the, the 9XR uh, just plugs right into the back okay and um, both of these have telemetry and um, I don't have anything to really read the telemetry data as of yet I don't have a screen or anything but you know that'll come in the future um, you know it's just something just something to get later on to monitor the battery voltage and stuff like that while I'm while I'm flying uh, long you know long range or whatever so that's pretty much what I have here um, I'll go ahead and build this thing and um, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done